When I was an 18-year-old kid, um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do, be recognized for our talent and uh, take over the world. Uh, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave, I moved on, but let us not pretend as if I was in Miami for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I and I spent a birthday with him once. I, went, I saw a birthday came. I went again to do a charity event for impoverished youth uh, in London. Um, so let us not lose. Hello, viewers and subscribers. Today, we're discussing Shine's recent comments on Diddy's arrest. Shine, once a rising artist with Bad Boy Records, has a complicated history with Diddy. Back when Shine was just 18, he was involved in a nightclub shooting while defending Diddy. However, instead of supporting him, Diddy testified against Shine, leading to Shine's imprisonment. Despite forgiving Diddy and moving on, Shine clarifies that they never had a close friendship. Their interactions were about practical matters, like potential scholarships and investments for Belize, not personal bonding. He stresses that while Diddy destroyed his life, he takes no joy in Diddy's current troubles. Shine's relationship with Diddy was strictly professional, and he had no involvement in Diddy's personal affairs. This story shows the complex dynamic between the two. Watch the full video for more context, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who destroyed my life and who I forgave and who I moved on and for the better interest of Belize uh, because he was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest. Um, I would not uh, deny uh, attempting to bring the investment to Belize and to bring the contributions to education to Belize. But don't distort it as if, you know, he and I were boom ballet. Uh, this is someone that destroyed my life. But do I take any joy or any satisfaction with what he is going through? Um, absolutely not. I, I, I am different than maybe other people. No one needs to fail for me to succeed. No one, no one needs to suffer for me. In your, at, the, at the height of your professional relationship or thereafter through the reconciliation when he was an instrumental part of promoting you through Revolt Media, did you, were you aware of these freak off events and were you aware of them? Did you have any participation in them? Oh my goodness, Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Jules Vasquez. Were you aware of that? Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Were you aware of the free cops? So I, I, I had nothing to do with Sean Combs' a personal life, no interaction. That level, everything was strictly on a professional level.